Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking at cubic function y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And we're told that its graph has horizontal tangents at the points negative 2, 6, and 2, 0. So what does this information tell us? We're told that these two points are on the graph if, they, if the graph has tangent points at them. And we're told that since they're horizontal tangent lines, the slope of the graph at that point is zero, and therefore the value of the derivative at that point is zero. So this is going to give us four equations, and then we can use those to solve for our four variables, a, b, c, and d. So firstly, we know that these points are on the graph. So we can use that to plug in 6 for y, negative 2 for x, and then 0 for y and 2 for x. So we get 6 is equal to a times negative 2 cubed plus b times negative 2 squared plus c times negative 2 plus d, which gives us 6 is equal to negative 8a plus 4b minus 2c plus d. Over here on the other one we get 0 is equal to a times 2 cubed plus b times 2 squared plus c times 2 plus d, which gives us 0 is equal to 8a plus 4b plus 2c plus d. We can't do anything with these yet. But since we know that the derivative is zero at these points, we can fi first find the derivative. So what's that gonna be? Well, with this power function right here, you take the coefficient, you bring it out first, multiply it by the exponent, and then subtract one to get your new exponent. Same thing here, coefficient, exponent, new exponent, old one, minus one. If you have a term with just an x in it, you just take the coefficient and add that, and then the derivative of a constant is 0. So the derivative is 3a, x to the 3 minus 1 is x squared, plus 2b, x to the 2 minus 1 is x to the first power, which is just x, plus c. And we're told that this is equal to 0 when x is equal to negative 2. So 3a times negative 2 squared is 2b times negative 2 plus c. Therefore, 0 is equal to 3 times negative 2 squared is 3 times 4 is 12a, plus 2 times negative 2 is minus 4b plus c. We're also told that it's equal to 0 when x is equal to 2. So 0 equals 3a times 2 squared plus 2b times 2 plus c, which gives us 0 is equal to 3 times 2 squared is 3 times 4 is 12a, plus 2 times 2 is plus 4b plus c. Now, this is something we can deal with if we rewrite these equations right here. 0 is equal to 12a minus 4b plus c, and 0 is equal to 12a, 12a minus 4b plus c and 12a plus 4b plus c. We do elimination and we subtract these. We get 0 minus 0 is 0 equals 12a minus 12a is 0. Negative 4b minus 4b is minus 8b, and then c minus c is 0. Therefore, 0 is equal to negative 8b, dividing by negative 8, get 0 is equal to b. So this is our first um, variable, and now we can use it to find the other ones. So, going over to these equations, if we know that b is equal to 0, then we can sort of ignore the terms. Just cancel them out and say 6 is equal to negative 8a minus 2c plus d and 0 is equal to 8a plus 2c plus d. Again, just basically crossing out those 4b terms because they're now equal to 0. Doing elimination here, we can add these two. We get 6 plus 0 is 6. Negative 8a plus 8a is 0. Negative 2c plus 2c is 0. And d plus d is 2d. Therefore, 6 is equal to 2d, and d is equal to 3. Okay, this is two down with two to go. Now we can plug these values into our next equation. So going from here, if we say that six is equal to negative eight a, which we don't know yet, plus four b is zero, so just ignore it again. Actually, we could just go off of this equation. Minus two c plus d would be plus three. Then if we subtract 3 from both sides, we get 3 is equal to negative 8a at minus 2c. Over here, if we take one of these equations, 
b is equal to 0, ignore that term, and we get 0 is equal to 12a plus c. I'm going to get this into the form where we can eliminate it if we bring in this equation. So if we multiply everything in here by 2, we get 0 is equal to 2 times 12 is 24a plus 2c. The reason we did that is now we can do elimination, just putting this equation underneath it. And then we can add these two, and we get 3 is equal to 24 minus 8 is 16a plus 2c minus 2c is 0. Dividing both sides by 16, and we get a is equal to 3 sixteenths. Now we have 1, 2, 3. We still need c. We're almost there. Luckily, we know that 0 is equal to 12a plus c. So 0 is equal to 12a. Or sorry, I can actually just plug in for a now. We don't have to write that step out again. So 0 is equal to 12 times 3 over 16 plus b. Um, 0 is equal to 12 times 3 is 36. 36 over 16 divide both sides by 4. We get 9 over 16 divided by 4 is 4. So 9 fourths plus b. Therefore, b is equal to negative 9 fourths. Sorry, this is c. 12a plus c is equal to 0. This is c all the way around, which is good because it's the one variable we did not have. So now we know 0, or we know b is 0, we know c is 9 fourths, we know a is 3 sixteenths, and we know d is 3. So writing out the cubic function, we have y is equal to ax cubed, would be 3 sixteenths x cubed, plus bx squared would be plus 0x squared, so just plus 0, so you can ignore it. Plus cx would be minus 9 fourths x, plus d is plus 3, and this is going to be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.